Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to set up inventory within Watermate platform and also integrate with Facebook Catalog Manager. In order to access the inventory, navigate to Inventory menu option under Catalog. Here you can see the list of products that is available in your inventory. Now that my inventory is empty, I can add a new product. I have two options to add a new product. I can bulk import using a CSV file. If I click on this, if I click on download sample, this will give me a sample file. I can edit the sample file and upload the products in bulk or I can go back and add new product manually. Let's just add a new product manually. Let's fill in the details. I want to put the same price that we added in the Facebook catalog manager and I can type in a category. Call it chatbot. And here I'm just going to add an SKU. And manufacturer, if you have a manufacturer for your product, you can add that. Again, all of these can be used in the chatbot to customize the categorical experience or brand experience for your customer. We have another option manage stock let's say you want to manage the stock for your product you can use this option or if you are a business that takes the orders first and then prepare the product then you don't have to manage stock you can disable that if you use the manage stock option you can update the current quantity and it will add the quantity and manage every time you sell the product it will update the inventory as well I don't want to manage the quantity, so I'm going to disable this. These are the two options that connects Facebook Commerce Manager with Watermain platform. So we need to take the Meta Catalog ID and the Meta Product ID. In order to capture that information, you need to go to the Commerce Manager. I'm going to go type in facebook.com slash commerce. I'm going to select the business and this is the catalog that I'm trying to access in the URL you can see this uh, ID next to catalog this is your catalog ID you can copy that information and go back to the platform and paste in meta catalog ID and the next information that we need is meta product ID which is the content ID in here so I'm going to select the product and copy the content ID and paste it in here as well. Once this is done, I'm going to click on save. Now that our inventory is set up and integrated with Facebook Catalog Manager, let's add an e-commerce chatbot and test it out if it works. I'm going to go into automations. I already have a chatbot template installed. I'm going to uninstall that first. I have uninstalled this chatbot and I'm going to install a new chatbot template using the add all option. And I'm going to go into chatbot and what I want is the e-commerce chatbot. Now that we have set up our chatbot, let's test our number to see if that works. This is our demo account that we have set up over the video tutorial series. I'm just going to test out if the chatbot actually works. The chatbot responds. Let's see. Yes, we can see the e-commerce chatbot kick in. I'm just going to click on place order. Okay, now we are receiving the product that we have set up in the catalog. Let's just quickly check this product and add this product as well and send the card yes the chatbot is actually asking us to check out I'm just gonna click on check out just to see if the invoice works as well since I already have an account with this business just selecting this customer now The platform has actually worked and it has created an invoice and sent us a payment link to complete the payment for this product as well. As you can see here, the payment link is now working and it has also generated an invoice. Let's go and check the invoice as well. 
is the product that we have set up in our inventory and Facebook catalog manager and it's updated the pricing as well and the invoice is the correct amount as we expected. I'm just going to complete the payment using Singapore based uh, payment method called PayNow. Okay, now that we have completed the payment, awesome, everything is working as expected, all good. Continue watching our tutorial to understand more about what made platform. If you'd like to sign up for a free trial account, please look at the link in the description and sign up for a free trial account.